Kiora and Aroha from New Zealand. Today I'll be drawing a character, a street scene with funky buildings, a flower vase and a wine glass. I hope you enjoy these paintings. I start drawing a character very lightly on a 165 GSM paper. I draw this from imagination so I don't have any reference photo. My characters come to life from shapes. I do these as illustrations for my storybooks, so I thought I'll draw one to show you how the process goes about. I draw a circle for the head, a rectangle for the body, and two triangles for legs and for the arms. I use Winsor & Newton watercolors and I've done already a first layer here. You can press the downward arrow below this video to see a list of the supplies used in, this, uh, in these paintings. In the second layer of colors that I use, I use red, black, alizarin crimson, and I mix the blue and alizarin crimson to give a purple hue. I use Faber Castell Fine Liner Artist Tip Pens to draw lines on all my paintings. At some stage, I try using gel pens, but I didn't like the effect so much, so I switched back to the fine liner pens. Since these are 10 to 15 minute practice sessions, I don't spend too much time on them. I just uh, try to make quick sketches and meet my aim of 10 to 15 minutes practicing daily. So this is more or less the completed painting and uh, you could use any designs, patterns for your characters. The second painting is a street scene. I love to do these funky buildings. They're all distorted buildings and um, it could be for two reasons. One is I suck at drawing buildings and the other thing is um, I enjoy seeing them you know in different um, tilts and different shapes so I have fun in the process and this is your art there's no right or wrong way so you make the houses like whatever type of houses you imagine I use sap green for the foliage and um, yellow ochre and now for the clouds I use ultramarine blue. If you've come to my channel for the first time I thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoy the video and consider subscribing at the end of it and also hitting the notification bell so that you get uh, notifications for more of my videos. And for those who are stopping again, thank you so much for your support and um, encouragement. I'm, I really hope you're enjoying the videos that I'm putting up so far. My heart goes out to those who have lost uh, family or friends during this um, COVID situation. And um, that's the reason even I couldn't um, record a lot of videos during some of the days because I lost a few of my family members and close friends too. So I just didn't feel like creating art during those days. I draw some squiggly marks to indicate bushes and plants in the background, trees and so on. Um, I don't do very detailed drawings and here I take a gel pen and do some houses. Again, I just have fun and no particular reference or anything, just, just a slight impression that there are houses with doors and windows and a roof. The funkier you can do these buildings, the better they look because I have done previously quite uh, distorted shapes and they really look cool.
now I draw the outline of a cobblestone street so these uh, drawings are very good if you go traveling to just uh, capture the scene of a marketplace or maybe a park or a coffee shop um, very quick drawings you can do them these in this sort of uh, way and even um, besides traveling if you go out and you have to wait like if i have to wait at the doctor's office or if i have to wait for an appointment i take my sketchbook and uh, draw the scene of the office or something that catches my eye they they're quite quick drawings and uh, you can always carry um, a small watercolor pen with uh, brush pens that have water in them I have a sketchbook fully for uh, dedicated for my travels and do a lot of uh, travel scenes like this. So I just do another brighter wash for the buildings and uh, just add some darks and lights in places. I don't do deliberate uh, lights and darks over here because um, if you're doing a, a final copy then you want to see where the sun is and where the light comes in so this is the final one and uh, you can see all my squigglies here and yeah so that's uh, my funky buildings I hope you enjoyed it so this next painting is a painting of a flowers I do the sketch first with a very light mark of graphite and then put the wa wash. In case you don't want the uh, pencil lines to be showing, uh, you should uh, erase it before you put the watercolors because once you put the watercolors, the pencil mark won't go. And now I just do the squares that are on the vase. Now I don't uh, sit to draw each square and paint according to the square. I just do it as a as an indication of squares. And once I make the lines, you'll see that um, the squares colors are not in the square boxes. So this is what I mean. I just do randomly the colors um, seeping into each other. And then I uh, take the Faber Castle fine liners and draw the shape of the vase and the squares. So even once you see the squares drawn, they're not uh, like one color in each square. Like I said before, it's just an impression for these rough sketches I don't want to waste too much time just uh, and I like these organic uh, paintings you know that are not set out deliberate to do something I don't make very dark lines um, and I keep a break in the lines also. I sign it over here but then I realize I haven't done the other lines to make the squares so I start doing them now. But I mean even if I had forgotten to do it, it would be fine. They looked cool anyway. So here's the completed painting. I hope you enjoyed this one too. The last one is a wine glass. Um, I was actually uh, 
having a glass of sparkling soda and then suddenly I got this idea of doing the painting so I just roughly sketch first the shape of the glass again not too much time just a very light sketch and then start putting in the paint this was the easiest one because um, it was just a very rough impression of a wine glass with some contents in it and i like when the water flows like that way so when the if you want that sort of effect you have to do it on a wet tone wet technique so the blues and the alizarin crimson that i use to make it into a purple um, i just keep on applying lifting off some paint to show the light that reflects on the glass again i keep doing in layers and then lifting out every time that i put the paint i lift it up with a dry brush So I hope you like, we're coming to the end of the video and I hope you've enjoyed all the four paintings. Please leave a comment and let me know how you felt about it. And um, once you do also, uh, please come back and let me know how it went. And thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. And for those who are stopping here the first time, please consider subscribing. And um, I'll be putting in a lot of uh, more videos. So I take a gel pen here. See, the gel pen looks very nice on this now. So it depends. I, whenever you're using a very um, light painting, you're doing... Uh, it the gel pens show on that but if you're doing the previous one was a dark sort of uh, tones and it wasn't showing very well on that so that's my wine glass cheers to you guys and i hope you'll enjoy this and see you again soon